All right, so let's uh, go and prep our drone model now. So hopefully you have gone and gotten the Unity package already downloaded and installed. So once you've done that, uh, let's move on and actually get everything set up inside of a scene. Okay. All right, so let's go and get our drone art all installed. So uh, hopefully you've gone and downloaded the Unity package. All right, here I have it in a folder. It's sitting on my desktop right now. So I can actually just uh, click and drag it into the project view here and it'll open up the import unity package browser here and so we want to import all this stuff so I'm going to say import and then what we should do at this point is go and set up some basic folder uh, structure in here so that way we keep all our assets organized all right because this can get out of control quite quickly so this is what I usually like to do I'll create a new folder call it uh, drone controller you know I usually just take the name of the actual project all right and then inside of here, I'll go and create my usual folder. So I usually start out with art and then I'll do a code like so. And sometimes you'll go and also create like a prefab folder. Um, I tend to go back and forth. I'll just put the prefab folder in here though, inside of the art folder. All right. So let's move our quad racer art uh, into our art folder right here. All right. So this is all included free of charge for you guys. So there's a nice, cool little, Indie Pixel drone right here. A friend of mine actually made uh, for me. It was pretty sweet. Really appreciate it. It looks really cool. Sci-fi and stuff like that. So uh, let's uh, just go and click and drag this into the art folder here. All right. I'm just going to get rid of these folders that we're not using anymore. Um, and then let's go and uh, make a new folder actually for the inputs. All right. So I'm going to say folder uh, input. And let's just uh, drag and drop our uh, input asset into that input folder. And in our main scene up here, let's go and delete our test input game object that we had and then delete our test input script, if you haven't done so already. I'm just cleaning this stuff up right now. All right, and then let's move this scenes folder into the uh, drone controller as well. All right, and instead of calling this sample scene, uh, let's actually save it as something else. So you, know, you come up here, do a save as, and we'll go and save this as um, drone controller dev something like that uh, and now we can go and just uh, delete our sample scene we don't need any of that stuff in there all right cool so with that all done let's get the drone into the scene all right so i, I provided a prefab so drone one so i'm just going to drag and drop that into the scene all right and there we go we have our little drone here i need to slow way down on the uh, camera stuff here let me actually come up to my little camera and we will change the max to, let's say the min is like one. Yeah, there we go. That's much better for this scale of a scene. All right, so we got our drone inside the scene here. So if we go and just explore the hierarchy here a little bit. So you got the drone body. Underneath that, we have all the arms. And then underneath that, we have all the propellers. All right, so that way we can animate these guys. Cool. All right, you know, it's a you know, simple model nothing crazy it's just a really good model for us to you know focus on so inside of our hierarchy panel up here let's uh, also stay a little organized so i'm going to create an empty uh, game object and call this my level group i tend to like to have you know a master game object that just contains all of my level assets and then over here in the inspector for that particular level group game object let's go and hit reset just so it's at you know world zero and then let's drag the the drone in here actually we'll leave the drone out uh, we'll put the the uh, directional light inside a level group. We'll put that inside of a empty game object as well called light group. Because we also need to put in a reflection probe. All right, so let's right click on this light group game object. And let's go to light and we'll create a reflection probe. It'll just help the lighting on everything. Uh, especially the drone to make it look a lot more realistic. We'll leave it right there for now. Okay, let's uh, go and scale down our gizmos something a little bit better very cool now let's go and create a ground plane just for you know something for us to, to look at all right and, and collide with because we are going to be using the rich body so let's uh, right click on the level group say 3d object and uh, select the plane and then i'm going to hit f2 on the keyboard and rename it to ground now let's make this a little bit bigger for now let's go to something like 10 by 10 by 10. i think that'll be plenty all right so you know that looks pretty cool it'd be nice to actually have you know a real color or maybe a texture and i've actually provided some for you guys so 
let's go and make a new folder here in our arts folder. So I'm going to right click on it, say create folder, and we'll call this um, uh, materials. Well, actually, you know what? I think I actually included all of it. So let me delete this here. And let me go to my folder here. Yeah, so you guys will have access to this in the zip file that contains the Unity package. All right, and we also I also included the Indie Pixel icon. All right, so we'll go over that here in just a sec. So let's actually just uh, click and drag. Well, actually, what we can do is we can right-click on the Art folder and say Show and Explore. And that'll bring up a little window here. And let's open up our other window. And I'm just going to copy this. And here we actually have the materials all set up. All right, cool. We'll probably have to reassign the textures to it, though. All right, so yeah, I just want to copy and paste that textures folder into our art folder right here. And you, Unity will go and re-import all that stuff for us. All right, so I'm going to actually be using the gray grid here. And yeah, we'll just need to reassign the gray grid texture to the albedo there. All right, and then we need to assign our gray grid mat to the plane and the scene right here. All righty, and there we go. So you can leave, you can change the tiling. I just set it at 300 by 300. Um, you could actually set it at 100 by 100, and that would actually represent the real units because our grid is at 10 by 10. So 100 by 100, because it's by default, it's 10 by 10. So yeah, there we go. So now we've got all that set up. Um, let's just do a really quick light bake. So our uh, reflection probe actually has something in it. Currently has nothing in it. And to actually, you know, have the ground plane taken into account in our reflection probe, probe we need to set it to a static object so we'll just select the ground and in the inspector turn on the static toggle there awesome all right so let's go to our lighting tab if you don't have it open uh, you just go to window uh, and then we go to rendering and our lighting settings and that'll bring up the little tab for you and all these guys are all dockable and you can tear them off and drag them around put them wherever you want Alrighty, and so I'm going to get a couple things set up. Always make sure my real-time illumination is turned off at this point. Um, Shadow Mask is fine. All these guys are fine. I do want to change the direct samples to 128 by 128. I really just want this to go be a really quick initial uh, light bake. So I'm going to set my light map resolution to 10. Light map size 1024. This this machine is pretty fast. I'll do, nah, I don't really need to do ambient occlusion. And then I'll do a default low resolution. All right, and so I'm going to go and generate the lighting, and that should take, I don't know, maybe a minute or so. We'll see here in a second. But yeah, by, by uh, turning the grid to uh, static, it will uh, then be um, actually baked into our reflection probe, so it'll light our drone nicely. All right, so I'm going to let this guy go. looks like it's going to take, I don't know, about 40 seconds, so I'll be right back. And there we go. We now have a light bake. So you can see how the scene looks much better. Our reflection probe actually has the grid ground um, taken into account, which then, you know, gets applied to the lighting on our actual model down here. So there we go. So if you actually want to look at it, just select the reflection probe, and then you can see what the results were. But that looks much better. So if we just select the drone, look at that. We are all good to go. Got everything prepped, ready to go. So I think we're now ready to close out this section and move on to start to work on the physics. All right, thanks so much.